Lesson 7.2, Task 7. Model with arithmetic sequences. A plumbing company creates a fee chart for their labor charges. What is the total charge for nine hours of labor? So you can see the number of hours, N, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and then the total charge, F of N. So the first hour they charge $75, and then 125. So from here to here is plus 50, plus 50, plus 50, plus 50. So our common difference is 50, and our first term is 75. An arithmetic sequence can model this situation since consecutive terms have a common difference. A recursive or explicit rule can be used to find f of 9. All right, so your first term, 75, common difference, 50. That comes straight from just evaluating the sequence. All you have to do is look for the pattern. All right, so let's look at the rule. So we're going to say f of n equals f of n minus 1 plus 50. So you can take the 75 plus 50 to get the 125. And then add 50, add 50, add 50 to get to the next term. All right, if you do that, you can go all the way up to f of 9. And after 9 hours, they will charge $475. So the total charge for 9 hours of labor is $475. Complete the table to show the term of the sequence that are shown above. All right, so f of 5. would be the fourth term, so 225 plus 50, and that equals 275. And then 275 plus 50 equals the 325. 325 plus 50 is 375. And then 375 plus 50, and that gives you 425. All right, so the explicit rule would be take 50 away from the first term because you have to have the previous term. So you take the common difference and subtract it from here. So it would be 25 plus 50 times 9. You can see that that still is 475. So above, you've got the recursive rule and the explicit rule. Match descriptions to rules to describe how the two methods are alike and how they are different. All right, so we've got recursive explicit and both rules. So it requires the first term in the sequence. Well, really both of those require the first term. Let's see what the other says. Requires calculating all the preceding terms to find a term. All right, that's the recursive formula. That's the one we looked at first. And you have to keep adding the common difference to get to the next term. All right, allows you to find any term without calculating the preceding term. All right, so that's your explicit rule, and both rules do require you to have the first term. All right, that's all for task seven. If you have any questions, let me know. Lesson 7.2, task eight. This is the final task. Model with an arithmetic sequence. So you've got a parking garage and it says parking cost $7 for the first hour and $3.50 for each additional hour. Julio is visiting a college. What is the total cost for eight hours of parking? All right, arrange the solution steps in the correct order. All right, so we've got these steps down here and we're going to say what would come first. So the very first thing is we're going to take the recursive formula, and we're going to start with that, okay? And then what we can do is rewrite this by using the previous term by taking away the common difference. So that would make this 3.5 or $3.50 plus 3.5 in. So that just kind of rewrites it in the other formula. All right, then what we're going to do is plug in 8, because we want to know after 8 hours how much does it cost. So we're just going to simply replace n with 8. And then let's do distributive property. So we can multiply these two together and get 28. 
And then if I add 3.5 or 350 and 28, I get 3150. All right, so what is a reasonable domain? All right, so a reasonable domain, we're talking about a parking garage and the number of hours you can park in a parking garage. Since there's 24 hours in a day, I would say 0 to 24 would be a reasonable domain. All right, that's all for task 8. If you have any questions, please let me know.